Let's go over the difference between channel and carrier proteins. First of all, both of these are membrane proteins, which means they're found in the membranes of cells. This is a channel protein. You can see it's embedded in the phospholipid bilayer of a cell. These are molecules that are outside and inside of the cell. Certain molecules can't move past this membrane, so they have to move through something called a channel protein. Typically, these move from areas of high concentration to low concentration. Since a channel protein is a type of facilitated diffusion, it's typically not going to use energy. There's just going to be a natural flow of these molecules from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. And again, specifically, this molecule is not going to change shape and only allows usually one type of molecule through. Carrier proteins, however, will change shape. Again, you can see this carrier protein embedded in the phospholipid bilayer, and you have these molecules that are outside the cell and they need to get into the cell. So what happens is the carrier protein will change shape, allowing these molecules through. So the major difference here is the carrier protein will change shape while the channel proteins won't. Both, however, regulate what enters and leaves the cell.